guruji i was discussing with the biology teacher that uh, let's say when a person inhales more oxygen like in some meditation practices also or let's say in pranayam then uh, she was saying that the more oxygen produces more atp in the body and more energy is released so i was saying to her that uh, because of that more energy obviously the person will become more conscious that previously let's say the, the the legs were not that conscious but after inhaling more oxygen even the experience of legs will come into the awareness so uh, when we use uh, sometimes that uh, let's say particular layer uh, comes into picture so we we say as a model that this particular layer has uh, got energized so are these are uh, um, uh, Uh, same things when when we say uh, like say uh, layers uh, uh, getting energized uh, let's say uh, via oxygen or something or we uh, it is it uh, just a model to to say that okay this layer has come so we are saying that for a model to to explain to our intellect we are saying that this particular layer has energized see i have limited knowledge here my knowledge is limited because not on the yogic path right now when what happens is the oxygen will only activate the physical layer which means the body and the nervous system only these two what happens is when this is activated to a certain level when you're not hyperventilating only you know required amount of oxygen is taken normal slightly more than normal then the interface with with the higher layers and the lower layers become stronger it is not that the breathing exercises are activating the higher layers it is not like this the oxygen never reaches that point is the oxygen is consumed in the body only so there is a invigoration there is a adding of energy in the uh, lower layers by breathing certain kind of breathing if you simply breathe like a mad you know you will faint too much oxygen so there is a controlled breathing can be found in many practices pranayam and they they actually cause a good communication between the higher and the lower now the lower is mostly kind of inactive and gets activated only when there is a danger or there is a beautiful woman or something you know survival otherwise is mostly passive it is doing nothing so how to motivate it breathing then the whatever your intentions are whatever your desires are they find a way into the body now your house will be cleaned in 5 minutes you see food will be prepared in 15 minutes you are inviting guests what is this more life but breathing is not going to affect any of the higher layers there are other exercises to affect the higher layers in which i am not going to go <laughs> that is in you know, a whole new topic now there is a specific technique for every layer a sadguru does it and many other you know kriya yogis do it and yeah. so on you What must have experience yeah what are you saying i am saying that this whole things are just a part of energies exactly you know the bhav spandana bhav spandana will activate the layer of emotions actually i have experienced it for a short while short way and it is very easy actually you can also do it with your with a partner it takes a partner what do you do the partners face each other and they tell five things that were positive in their life you know most important things that were positive like you got job got married and you got a child or whatever you know positive and the other person also says something positive and it works best when you know there is a opposite gender when these two people are of opposite gender it works best in after you finish that short dialogue you will see there is activation of the emotional layer actually when we did it in the presence of sadguru the effect lasted for many hours and actually i remember this thing you know i did it i was in the mumbai i was in mumbai there was a event there and we did as he instructed and the and there was a woman yes she also did it many people must have done it i was facing a woman and it felt as if that person is my friend since many many years actually we sat together for the rest of the program 
and so on you see it was an amazing feeling smile on the face and so on but it does not last why it is a temporary activation only same way there there are ways to activate other layers it should not be done without a guru because you don't know what you are doing isn't it you will find the tricks you will find the techniques everywhere in the books in the videos and all but i never recommend these things our method is top down you activate the top most layer i have given you the technique this layer is called the awareness layer of awareness it is activated simply by remembering the knowledge remember it who you are what is this thing which is looking what is this thing which is being experienced is it real is it a dream you will see that it is activated now this is also called the agya in sanskrit and then it commands you no know, agya means command it commands all the layers below it it activates everything now your life is joyful now your life is intense there is a misunderstanding among among people mostly the ignorant people who are not on the path that knowing that everything is illusion will make me simply make me inactive dumb i will not do anything i'll just sit there depressed because it is illusion just like i said don't do it without a guru a self realized person has a different notion of these things ignorant person simply damage him so the life becomes more intense actually when you know what it is the layers will be will spring to life they won't become in- inactive actually you won't be able to sleep the dreams will be <laughs> your satsang i remember this thing you know many of my dreams are simply teaching people and getting taught from other masters i say leave me alone in the dream at least but no same thing so who knows what is happening in the other worlds other layers and so on you know what kind of projections are happening there we don't remember in the waking state now <clears throat> but you are very big and this whole thing is energized so our way is very very potent actually you think that it is intellectual you think that it is not strong but what do i think i think it is the most powerful thing to do yes you can you know eat some kind of grass or something you know tea or something to make your body energized <laughs> stupid things or you can breathe you know energy body is you now the etheric body is energized you do the bhav spandana whatever you do to make the emotions rise up but uh, childish in front of what i have given or our masters have given yeah that is a certain yeah, is a certain guru the intensity is very exploding after some time na just being being in this knowledge the intensity is has increased to a, a very different level previously it was uh, maybe uh, let's say going in cycles but uh, after the knowledge the intensity is is of a very different kind i agree pratip is experiencing the full full blown effect of the path of knowledge why is not everybody every student like this you know i am also experiencing the same and they have a different kinds of impurities in them all of you are present in the satsang and who are in the program all of you have a different kind of impurities in them so you all are all are experiencing different manifestations like so some lives have become so intense some few of my students that they got burnt out <laughs> there is burning out happening happens then i tell them you know get away from from spirituality stop the satsang stop reading stop watching and you know eat more sleep more go out and you know on trekking walking whatever makes you more physical so imbalance happened there because too much activation that is why we recommend never do it without a guru you don't know what you are doing it's too powerful yes pratip is saying even the silence of such a person will be powerful yes you know only the body is silent your mouth is closed but all the layers are speaking intensely it is vibrational anyhow anyhow and the other you know there will be activation of all the layers you know your body will become hyperactive or you won't need sleep and you won't need too much food especially the bad kind of food toxic food that you are eating satvic food yes you will eat it because even though the body does not need the food energy like we were saying that day the food energy is not needed that much but uh, the material is needed 
because the cells are dying they need fresh material so you need that much food to replace the material because the energy cannot construct the material the energy can only energize the material physical body is material but the other bodies are non material so you see there are even non mental also the higher ones so replacement of the matter makes you eat otherwise you don't need to eat when you are on the path of knowledge can you believe it remember that you know not only that the swadishthan will be activated too much sexual energy will be there it does not mean that you know you get out of control there will be awareness so it will be ineffective but there will fire always in you there will be you know too much love in you too much love because the emotional layer the heart will be activated your speech will open up there will be, there will be magic in your speech your voice will be attractive and the intelligence will open up you will understand who is fooling me and who is troubling me and whatever you say that means your whole life will become easy actually and then you are on on the right path suddenly instead of walking like a on a bullock cart or something you are in a ferrari you are on the super highway now this is what we call as living intensely although other people will perceive you as a normal human being you know eating sleeping cleaning cooking doing the job and so watching some crazy videos and sitting in the satsang for 2 3 hours craziness isn't it for ordinary person <laughs> you sit here and listen to this crazy fellow for 2 hours they will be amazed i have seen there are some people in our groups they have joined all other satsangs also hindi then satsang by somebody else there are i think every day there is a satsang now some days there are two and they have joined all of them i say what is going on what do you do you don't have any life or what one is enough no but no such a person is now fully alive not a zombie anymore so remember you are given something very very powerful your impurities stop you from intensifying it so i know i know nothing because i have forgotten everything and uh, no effect on my life what has happened here the, this path is not this path is not for that person then or the impurities are so many that you know and the patience is zero i don't want to wait for the results you know the result has already happened the result on the path of knowledge is knowledge you got the knowledge yes that is that that much should happen and the rest will be done slowly sometimes quickly so we <laughs> we don't we don't do more than that you know activate the awareness if you want to play with the lower layers you know be careful some something can happen there which is beyond human control people run to doctor doctor knows nothing at all the doctor knows only 10% of the body actually what does the doctor know about the spiritual layers you know so you know the mental layers sorry in the spiritual life zero run to your guru if you don't have a guru cry in the corner nobody will help you do not do this but this one hmm yeah one thing is certain that uh, uh, because many new people have come into my life just uh, asking for guidance one thing is common in all of them that uh, they all say that they cried too much and then we got interacted with you <laughs> they cried in the corner somewhere after uh, you know uh, getting out of options in their life hmm you see like i always say crying is a manifestation of purification only some things have you know have they troubled them so much that they gave up the effort now and instantly everything is dropped the effort in the wrong direction in the material side you can say trying to get happiness from objects people relations and intellectual stuff and money failed so now they're crying failed but instantly all these things are dropped and the purification has happened now there is a opening and the guru field is you know patiently waiting for this opening to happen for 25 years and when this opening has happened there is a bit of um, willingness to listen to a guru instantly the guru is dropped in front of him air dropped from helicopter so pratip was dropped in front of them <clears throat> i also get all these cases you see when they break down from their material lives then only then they pursue the spiritual life it is unfortunate but you know that's a good way <laughs> that's a good way as soon as they get some relief 
back in the material life why guru is there no if something bad happens we'll fix it like you know the doctor fixed my last disease i am now eating here and there because if something happens he will fix it again so the you know will for spirituality has awoken but the intelligence is still zero so again we wait for, <laughs> for some time you know they will come back but some people are intelligent and they see the value in spirituality and they never leave as soon as you taste it you will never leave it there is nothing more important in our lives 